black women, black are, women dope. are dope. There you go. Why Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy June Archer here with two of the R&B stars who come together to form a super group on BET's The Encore. I have Shamari DeVoe and Nivia Nash. Welcome, ladies. How are you? I'm the Nash. Hey, how you doing? Listen, I woke up this morning. I'm super excited to have you guys on the show. I want to start with you, Shamari, really quickly. You are in black. Are you also married to Ronnie DeVoe? So you guys know something about being in groups and all of the, the things that come along with it. Now, as a mom, you got to juggle this. How was it juggling nine women collectively in this show? Well, it was it was difficult for sure. Um, you know, just coming from a three member group, Black, and being the lead singer of Black, and then going to a different situation, having nine, eight other women, you know, trying to put us all on a record together. It was it was extremely difficult. There was you know a lot of just you know feeling un underappreciated or you know um, you know not being able to be on certain parts that they would like to have been on. And um, for me, it was easy for me to just go there and use my voice the best way that I can because I don't have any type of complex where I have to be on the song because I'm so used to being the lead singer anyway. So it really didn't really matter like that for me. I just want everybody to win at the end of the day. I know what it takes to be in a group and it takes people working together. So at the end of the day, that's what I was there to do, work together and, and, and just bond with these women. And now Nivia, you coming from a solo artist perspective. Right. How, being in an environment where you have so many women respectfully successful in their own right coming together to try to create harmony for well, before I better came, and worse. <laughs> right. Before I came, I put all that into play, into mind. We weren't aware of who the other ladies would be. We didn't know who was coming in this house with. So I was already telling myself, you know, just find your position and play your part. This is a group effort. I've never done anything like this before, but I'm very good at working with others. So I just applied those skills and got in where I fit in. <laughs> now, in, in this first episode now, the two of you, you guys are around the, the piano with your vocal coach and everyone is asked to sing something. And being in the music business for 20 something plus years, clearly we could see who the vocalists were and who the vocalists weren't. Oh you no. Both, you both get busy. Thank How you. How do you feel to be able to flex your vocal ability around that piano, knowing that you guys have not really been out the game, but haven't had the opportunity to really flex your skills like you really wanted to for a very long time? It was it was very nerve wracking for me because like you said, like if we just coming out of quarantine, not using our voices and not singing and not knowing what song we're going to have to sing. And, it, you know, but at the end of the day, I just thank God for blessing me with the voice and the talent to be able right. to get up there and do what I have to do. You know, I came there to sing and that's that's what I did. Right. It was nerve wracking for me, too. And I was very much sleep deprived the whole time. So I'm a I'm, I have a natural rasp, but I was even more hoarse there. But at the end of the day, we have been doing this a long time. It's time to sing. You, you get up there and sing. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you guys want people to walk away from after watching this that they can know a little bit more about the both of you after watching the whole season all the way through? Nivia, I'll, I'll start with you first. Um, I'm I don't take a lot nor myself very seriously, but at the same time, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer in right is right and wrong is wrong. And um, somebody who, who is just very free to be themselves. Shamari? <laughs> yes, um, I, I, I did the show because I wanted to start using my voice again. I had lost my passion for a long time and, and my confidence and everything. And, you know, I was, I'm just so grateful that I was able to be a part of this opportunity to be able to use my voice and to inspire the world once again. So yes, I, you know, people look at me like, oh my gosh, she got all, you know, the confidence in the world, but you know, I struggle too with that. So this show was a great opportunity for me to, you know, just get my passion back and, and sing again. And, and I feel great about it. Now you can't tell me nothing. Okay? <laughs> well, you guys have a nice, jumpstart on this thing. Ronnie DeVoe, the dream, you've got made some beautiful babies. 
with Thank these you. men. Will we Thank see you. some more music with the both of these men in the near future? Definitely. Yes, yes. Me and my husband be like uh, Ashford and Simpson, baby. We ready. <laughs> we still together. Thank y'all so right. much. The encore is on BET. Check it out. This is Shamari DeVoe and, of course, the beautiful Nivea Nibia. Nash. Hey, someone stole my black CD, but I still got my Nivea CD. Oh, my lamb. Oh. Thank y'all so much for joining the show. This is June Archer for This Is 50.com. Thank y'all. Peace. Thank you. <laughs> um. <laughs>